this video lecture i will explain you complete analysis and designing of g plus one duplex house by using sap 2000 software okay so in my previous video i was cover the same concepts related to the etap software in my in this video i will cover the complete concepts how to create the building by using sap 2000 software as well as the designing process so before that initial i will show you the plan for the duplex house so click on this pdf this is the plan which is consisting of east facing direction which is having 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 number of the columns starting point to ending point for the first column just i am assuming here as 3 meter and 3 meter 4 meter which is of 7 meter in vertical direction just i am taking here as uh, 4 meter 4 meter and 5 meter okay the length of the building is 7 meter here and uh, height of uh, width of the building is approximately equal to 5 plus uh, 4 plus 4 which is approximately equal to 13 meter okay so this is the living dining toilet uh, storeroom kitchen and bedroom and toilet for this respected uh, ground floor again this is the home theater bedroom living toilet bedroom here like this okay so go to click on your sap 2000 software i have sap 2000 uh, 23 version software if you have any version other version you can obtain the same procedure for the analysis and designing so the software will be open here like this firstly we have to click on the file option new modeling option so in this it will open the some of the options like this so initially you need to select the 3d frame model in order to create the instant structure just i am selecting here and number of the story just i am assuming here as three number of the stories why because it will be consisting of the plinth level and it will be consisting of ground floor and first floor so the story height is three meter just i am taking number of base in uh, uh, x direction will be of 3 number bay length will be consisting of approximately uh, just i am roughly i am taking 3 and y direction will be consisting of how many columns uh, 4 columns i think it will be consisting of 4 columns and the base will be consisting of 1 2 3 uh, 1 2 3 4 ok 1 2 3 4 so here i am selecting here as 4 numbers here ok so bay width is just i am assuming here as 3 select the use custom grid spacing option here we can edit the uh, your requirement so here i am selecting spacing option let us consider first grid will be consisting of approximately uh, 3 meter and second grid will be consisting of 4 meter so here we have to delete this option why because it is not uh, mandatory so here i am deleting this option again i am selecting this option to 4 meter here okay so that it will select the option here like this and we have to edit, the, edit this vertical distance just i am selecting this option first option which is consisting of 3 meter constant sorry not 3 meter 4 meter just i am selecting here 4 meter and this is also let us take here as 4 meter and just i am taking this last one will be consisting of 5 meter just i am selecting this delete option okay so sorry this is the 5 meter let us consider here okay so now we can see it was done with grid lines so you can click on the ok option so now we have to add the beam sections column section for that we have to click on this plus mark so initially we need to create the property which is related to the concrete material of rectangular property this time selecting the beam which is having the dimensions is 0 0.23 cross 0 0.3 let us take here okay so here i am selecting the depth is approximately equal to 0 0.3 meter let us consider and width is approximately equal to let us take 0 0.3 and this is 0 0.23 okay select this material type which is having the 4000 psi you can click on the place mark in order to create the new material so you click on add select the indian standard codal provision here and we have to select the concrete material according to your consideration just i am taking example as m30 gradle provision click on ok again in the same process we have to add the uh, grade of the steel so select this option indian standard system select the rebar which is having let us consider basic rebar just i am taking hysd bars of 500 click on ok so click on ok select the material will be of m30 grade here so click on the reinforcement option here okay select the longitudinal bars as well as the confinemental bars consisting of hysd of 500 uh, okay select the beam option here and we have to give the options which is comes under the cover 0 0.025 just i am assuming here 0 0.025 just i am assuming here click on ok again click on ok now we have to add the one more section which is of column select the rectangular section just i am selecting the column which is having the dimensions is approximately 0 0.3 cross 0 0.3 dimensions here okay select the material which is of m30 gradle provision click on the reinforcement select here as hysd bars 500 500 let us consider 0 0.025 just i am taking the cover uh, which is having 12d diameter bar which is confinemental also 12d diameter bar for this section so click on design option so now we have to click on ok option again we have to select the ok option now we have to select the beam here 
and you have to select the column here okay so again we have to click on the uh, okay option after selecting the property so that uh, the 3d model will be directly loaded on the software here like this okay so this is a 3d model and this is the plan view you can select the plan view and you can go to the top story here like this okay so here the plinth level again we have to add the slab section for this level okay so before that we need to define a slab section go to define section property select the area section here and you have to add the section which is of slab just i'm selecting slab uh, 125 let us take okay so here i'm selecting membrane which is having 125 thickness again this is also 125 thickness here okay select the material will be of m30 grade l provision so directly click on the ok option here okay again i'm selecting ok option here select the uh, quick draw areas option select the properties s125 just drag to the model here like this okay so that it will do the uh, uh, modeling of your slab section for the ground floor again we have to click on the top story again i'm selecting this model here like this so that it will draw the slab section here like this now we have to see the complete 3d model for the building click on this right mark option again we have to select the uh, object to view uh, let us consider general option fill objects so you can click on apply to all windows click on apply here again in the same process you can extrude the models also so that it will show you the realistic view of the structure click on apply so that it will show you the complete realistic view of the particular structure model here like this you can rotate the model by using 3d rotate view option which is similar to that of the etap software now you can say you can rotate the model here like this okay so after modeling process completed we need to add the load cases for this building primarily just i am taking two load cases only okay why because this respective structure is not having any uh, greater than 10 meter height and this uh, let us consider this building is located in low seismic zone which is a zone to seismic condition that's why i am skipping the lateral loading condition systems okay so go to define option select the load patterns again it will be consisting of dead load condition here just i am defining the load which is of live load select the live here and click on the uh, add new load pattern okay click on okay now we have to apply the load cases select all the building initially go to assign join point load forces select uh, forces here just i am taking one 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 uh, sorry this is one this is one this is one okay uh, add to existing loading condition click on apply in the same process we have to apply the uh, wall load condition system basically we will consider the walls three types of the category which is of external wall internal wall and parapet wall loading condition the summation of the external wall and internal wall parapet wall load will be consisting of 24.3 kilo newton per meter intensity i was explained this concept in my previous video you can follow that complete calculation of the dead load so here i am selecting uh, beams initially properties which is of frame section select the beams option click on select close option then after that we have to click on the assign option frame line load distributed loading condition system add to existing loading condition select this load is 24.3 option kilo newton per meter click on apply so that it will apply the uh, 24.3 kilo newton per meter load for the uh, beams again in the same process we have to apply the slab load go to select properties which is related to the area section select s125 click on close assign option uh, shell area area loads uniform shell so here i am selecting the load which is of 2 kN per meter square click on apply again we have to click on ok option here in the same process we have to apply the load which is comes under the property of uh, live load condition for that go to select the previous section which is of slab sections only go to assign uh, area load which is of uniform shell change dead load condition to live load next i am taking here as 3 kN per meter square uh, add to existing loading condition click on apply click on ok option now we have to add the support condition system for the base go to go to uh, ground level which is of fixed support level for this structure which i am selecting this is the plinth level select all the node points at the base go to assign joint restraints select the fixed support condition click on apply option so click on ok option so after that we have to analyze the structure before that we need to add the load combination go to define uh, load combinations option add default design combinations select concrete frame designs option click on ok so click on ok option now we have to analyze the structure go to analyze set analysis option uh, set your 3d model click on ok then after that we have to go to the analyze option again uh, again we have to click on the create analysis model here then it will ready to analyze the model go to analyze so select set load cases to run option select all the load cases click on the run now so that it will do the analysis process then after that it will show you the complete results before that we need to save the model 
just I am selecting the G let us consider uh, folder just I am taking here uh, file name just I am taking here as uh, duplex G click on save option so now you can see the structure is going to analyzing here it is showing here like this so after that I will show you the shear force diagram bending one diagram now you can see this is the deflection diagram due to the presence of the dead loading condition the def deform shape is showing here like this you can rotate the deform shape also depends upon your consideration so that it will show you the maximum bending moment diagram where it is occurred for the building structure okay now we can say this is the structure deflection diagram in order to see the shear force diagram initially we need to uncheck this respected extrude options okay just i am selecting uh, only uh, standard options click on apply to all windows apply okay so click on okay now we have to see the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram for that go to display uh, show uh, forces uh, frames panel of force here select shear to two option click on apply option so that it will display the shear force diagram here like this in the same process I'll just i am selecting bending moment diagram click on apply so this is the bending moment diagram for this respective structure in the same process you can select the torsion also depends upon your requirement okay so now you can see this is the analysis results so after that we need to design the structure okay go to design option on the top concrete frame design select view revised preferences here select the code as per your is 456 2000 codal provision standard so click on ok click on design option concrete frame design again you can uh, click on the concrete frame design select uh, design combinations otherwise you can select the load combinations according to your consideration this time selecting all the load combination click on design concrete frame design select start designing check so that it will start designing check for the respected model so now we can see here some models are showing the uh, indicating the uh, red color mark okay that is nothing but the higher amount of the uh, bending behavior for the particular member okay so you can select any one of the member so you can select any one of the member for this respected model so you can click on the uh, overwrite options so that it will show you the values so otherwise you can directly click on the summary of the reinforcement design results so it will consisting of all details calculation for which is comes under this particular beam and flexure details also you can check this is the Indian standard system beam section design or uh, ductility frame in kilonewton flexure details option element number and this is the gamma value and gamma steel okay so this is the longitudinal reinforcement uh, and torsional mu u this is the top and this is the bottom reinforcement and factor force moments is considered for this model in the same process you can select any one of the column member right click on it click on the uh, summary option so that it will show you the complete reinforcement results as per the calculation part it is showing the uh, NA here okay so if you obtain NA is uh, not applicable for the building structure now we can see some values are here obtained as shear stress value and uh, shear value obtained as NA value here okay but uh, the reinforcement values is getting here like this for the axial loading condition system and you can click on the interface this is the interface values so shear details you can select here and it will be consisting of complete shear details okay so this is the basic designing uh, tutorial regarding the complete modeling process and how to apply the load cases and how to analyze simple building so this is not a complicated one just simple steps for getting the idea about the sap designing section okay in my upcoming videos i will explain you complete detailed concepts regarding the how to take the reinforcement value from the designing section by using sap 2000 software if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you